Louis, a good result in the end against a strong Burton Albion side and the perfect start to the Checker Trade Trophy campaign, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, um, it was a good run out from us. We, uh, I think we rode a luck a little bit in the first half. They had a lot of possession, but I think we dominated the second half and I think rightfully so we won the game and, and like you say, it's a great start to the Checker Trade for, for something potential where you can go to Wembley. And how did it feel for you getting the 90 minutes out there? Because it's safe to say game time has been a little bit hard to come by for you since your return, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been disappointing. Um, I've been doing a lot of the training ground and then we've not, I've not been getting the minutes on the pitch. So hopefully it's, it, it's posed a, a thought from the manager as in that he might start me or, or get me some minutes off the bench. So yeah, it was nice to blow the cobwebs out and hopefully something I can build on. And the gaffer made a string of changes tonight. How do you think the lads coped considering that? Because you played some decent stuff at times. Yeah, I think we did um, really well at times. It's, it's hard those games sometimes because some lads can not give their all and, and, and treat it as a bit of a reserve game, not really wanting to be there. But every man today wanted to be there and show the manager what he can do. And I think you can see at the end where, where Pew is getting cramped in his calves and how much effort has gone into it. Um, so, yeah, it's, um, it was a great workout and, and something we can build on. And Ricky Miller obviously scored the decisive goal and it came after a, a decent through ball from yourself. You must be pleased to, to get the assist and contribute in that way. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm delighted for Ricky as well because he's, um, he's taken a lot of flack from, from the fans and, and himself really. He beats them up when he doesn't score. So hopefully that will relax him a little bit more in front of goal. And like I say, it was, a, it was a nice through ball and he's done well to finish it. So well played, Ricky. What's he been like in training? Because it's, it's not easy, is it, when you're going through a, a run of not scoring? What's he been like? His attitude seems to have been spot on. He's just got his head down and got on with it. Yeah, he's exactly the same. He's, uh, he's not one of those now that in a game where he's not, or training he's not going to have a shot. He's still going to do that. And it's, it's just, he just needed one to go up his backside or something. But like I said, tonight is a, is a great finish. So hopefully that, this will um, snowball him on to three, four, five goals. And with the performance of some of the lads out there tonight, does that give the manager something to think about going into Saturday's game with Lincoln? I hope so, because that, that's what we set out to do. We want the, the manager to have a little question mark and say, saying, oh, should I play him? And, but if we played tonight and didn't do well, then it makes his decision easy on the weekend. So we want to make his decision as hard as possible and, and hopefully we all get some minutes. And what are you expecting on Saturday? Because Lincoln obviously come here, top of the league, pose a real threat, especially physically. What are you expecting from them? Like you say, they, they are physical, but they, they've got a lot of ball players in there as well. They can, they can mix it up nicely. Um, we've got to be switched on from every set piece and, and, and in, in play as well. So we know what we've got to do to, to beat them and hopefully we get a, a decent result Saturday.